Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up, my sneakies? I've been ready to come at y'all with this video. It's been a long time coming. I look forward to this video every year, even though I've been doing this two years already. I've been looking forward to this video every year. But before we get into the exciting video, I want y'all to like this video. Start what you're doing right now, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click that bell to be notified when I upload this video. So yeah, I'll run that intro and we're gonna continue the video. Yo, 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 what's up, my sneak geeks? What's up, my sneak geeks? Today, this video is gonna be a banger, but I wanna start off with a little giveaway. I don't show, I feel like I don't show my supporters that much love, so I'm gonna start showing them love. So today, I got a giveaway. It's gonna be a size eight. It's out of my personal stash. DS, never been worn. The rules to this giveaway. All I want you to do is comment, there's the sneak geek and comment done in that same comment under the video that I just posted. Top 10 sneaker releases. Do that, show me that you subscribe, and boom, you are in the giveaway. And I'll let y'all know Saturday who is the winner of the giveaway. Boom. I will give away a retro 13 size eight right here. Never been worn, DS. I'll let y'all know the winner. Y'all got till, hmm, I say y'all got, got till Saturday to do this, and I will be picking the winners, and whenever I pick the winner, depending on where you are, I either ship it to you, or I'll meet you with the shoe. So yeah, do that. Subscribe to this channel, hashtag Sneak Geeks, and done under this video. Today, I'm doing the top 10 sneaker releases. Most of these are Jordans, you know, I'm really a Jordan guy. I wear Nikes, I wear, you know, other things, Yeezys. I love Yeezys, but this gonna be like a Jordan dominated top 10. I asked a couple people what they list was. Wanted to see where my list stood with everybody else. So I think I'm pretty firm on my top 10 list. And I think this is a good top 10. So I'm gonna start off with the honorable mentions i'm gonna start off with the honorable mentions for the shoes that i felt like needed some love and you know and i appreciate jordan brand 2021 was definitely a movie 2021 was definitely a movie for sneakers and i'm glad it was so yeah we're gonna start off with the honorable mentions the well, first shoe we got that's in the honorable mentions I just had to put these in honorable mentions because Jordan know they could have gave us the regular version of these. But yeah, the first shoe we're gonna start off with the honorable mentions is ha, bang, boom. So yeah, we got the retro 12 royalties, you know, just a little, they look like the taxes very much. You know, I had to stick the white laces in there. I couldn't do the black. I wanted this closest to the taxis as possible. So I couldn't do this list without putting these in there because, you know, if they was in taxi, you know, they would definitely be my top 10. I, I love this shoe. I love it. And I don't even want to wear it because of how dope it look. So yeah, we got our first honorable mention. Now we got to go into our second. Our second honorable mentions, Jordan dropped a couple women releases that are they are fire and I love the women releases that we got or whatever. But this one right here stuck out the most to me. I wanted to put it in my top 10, but it was just so much heat that Jordan came out with that, you know, I just I just had it. But it's an honorable mention, so yeah, we're gonna go with the retro five bluebirds. Okay, so yeah. The Retro 5 Bluebirds, I, I, overall, I feel like this was a dope shoe. I wore these one time, and it caught a lot of people's eye. Hey, man, where you get this shoe, bro? Them shoes nice, bro. When I seen the shoe, it just reminded me of, like, a shoe that's off of Frozen. A shoe that needs to be, like, sat down in, like, a case somewhere. This is a beautiful shoe. Jordan really did their ditty when it came to women's release this one is not a jordan so this one was everybody i feel like this should be on everybody's top 10 or even mentioned in some kind of way okay so now we got the nike dunk panda 
boom. So yeah, it's just, you know, a typical black and white shoe, but you can't go wrong with black and white, man. Like what I got on right now, I could put these on and still be stylish, still be fly, you feel me? This shoe was like one of the most fake shoes in the, you know, sneaker game 2021, cause you know, so many people wanted them and it was easily to, you know, get passed by, but you know, your boy all the way out there, we go here. But yeah, we got the Pepper, black and white, those were my three honorable mentions. Now it's top, time to go into the top 10 sneaker releases for Dez the Sneak Geek. Bang! This is the 10th shoe. If anybody know, everybody know this is my favorite color. And if you know me, you already know what that favorite color is. So it was only right I put it in my top 10. Plus it's a classic. Plus we ain't seen this shoe since 2006. And a lot of people probably forgot about this shoe, so I ain't really seen these in everybody's top 10, but this is top 10 worthy. We got here the Raging Bull Fives. Man, these had to go in my top 10. I love these to death. I ain't even warm yet because this shoe holds a special place to me. I love red. If you know me, red is my is definitely my favorite color. And yeah, we got this at number 10. I love this shoe. Boom, so number nine, it's kind of probably gonna be a surprise to a lot of people, but I just had to put this in my top 10 because, bro, this shoe is so dope. It's better than a lot of these shoes that's out there, but you know, hype beast won't admit it. But yeah, number nine is a crazy, crazy release. And when I seen Z Sneakerhead post these and saying that they'll drop, I'm like, yo, I'm definitely top, top 10. So, boom, number nine, we got the Retro One Seafoam, bruh. These Seafoams are nice. I like a little bit of what they did with the laces. It was real different. You got something different, man. You know, they upping the price with stuff. So, and I like different stuff. So, yeah, these are nice. I feel like I could put these really up there with the um, Retro One Hyper Royals, UNCs. They really, they really, you know, they have a... This, this is a shoe of his own, and I really love these right here. So yeah, this is my number ninth shoe. I feel like Jordan Ones really showed showed out. Jordan Ones, I even though they dropped a plethora of retro fours, they just won't touch the Jordan Ones. Jordan Ones kind of own 2021, and again, just like my ninth shoe, my eighth shoe is a Jordan One, and when these was, you know. When they said that these was dropping, I was like, yeah, I had to get my hands on them. This one is the Retro One High Polish, man. These, this shoe is just a dope shoe. I remember seeing these when I was younger on other people's feet. And you know, when you younger, only get, I was only getting shoes around tax time or, you know, um, getting shoes. Hmm. Yeah, get shoes December, you know, the 11th, man. So I just, I had to hop on these when I seen that they was coming out. Yeah, so this is my eighth release of 2021. I messed with this shoe heavy. So yeah. So yeah, now we got another release that I feel like was a part of the retros that, you know, did that show out 2021. If Retro One was number one, this Retro, the Retro Fold was definitely number two. So here we got a, a big banger in the Retro for UNC's, man. Seventh shoe and they are dope, man. This is a dope overall shoe. When these came out, I was, Mm, saying that these were sneaker of the year until some other releases came out and I was like uh, I was kind of I went back on what my decision was going to be so yeah this is definitely my seventh shoe top 10 worthy shoe and I'm glad to have these in my collection this shoe right here would have been higher on my list but I don't know the patent leather just kind of pushed them down. I wish I could get the regular version. I will get the original version with the leather on it. Y'all should know what I'm talking about right now, but y'all finna see it in a minute. But I wish I would've got the regular version, but I guess how I deal with the patent leather version of it. Mm. But yeah, the number six shoe in my top 10 
of 2021. Dang, so you, you got the patent leather, man. You know, this mother look like a dance floor, look like a glossy shoe, dope touch. I like how they put the red jar and jump, man. I like how they got family in the inside right there. You know, just little things. I don't I don't know what it means. You know, they never told us, Jordan Bay never told us what it meant for all these extra things, but yeah. I miss with this release. This is the sixth release on my list. And number five, we got a tie. Number five, I, I couldn't pick and choose. I asked multiple people, and they couldn't pick and choose either. They give me like a both answer, like I don't know an answer, you know. One of them just can't be better than the other. I don't know, it's just a hit or miss. So, yeah. And number five, we got two of the most controversial. They could be ranked the sneaker of the year too. Just depends on your own opinion. But yeah, number five, we got both of the UNCs. Bang! The UNC one, boom, and the retro one, Hyper Royals. Man, these two shoes are some of the best shoes on. You gonna get when it comes to retro ones, man. Like it's just a hit or miss. I feel like this shoe is more wearable and this shoe is more of, you know, like a keepsake type thing. I haven't worn these yet, but I have worn these plentiful. As you can see, you might can't really tell because the material on these, I love the material on these. Like you can wear them, they look better even when you wear them. Like after you wear them, they look better after you wear them than them brand new. So yeah, number five, I got the UNC one and the retro one Hyper Royal. Now we getting into the meat of, you know, top four, man, top five, you know, you see what my five is, my five was some heat. So now we into the top four. All right, so number four, I feel like number four, y'all really disrespected the number four, man. Number four should have been a $500 shoe, but you can get this for like, during their retail, 240 in some sizes, two or even less than that. But yeah, number four, we got the highly anticipated before the release shoe, the retro four lightness, man. These mugs were so nice. I'm glad, I was so happy when they, you know, did the release date of these and they said that they were dropping these. These are a dope shoe and I love this, this shoe regardless of all the hype that it, died down on them. I don't know what's the reason why the market price not high on these. Well, I feel like the sneaker culture, the sneaker world really disrespected this shoe. This shoe was fire. This shoe is legendary. This shoe, you know, we ain't seen this since 2006. So I thanks to, thanks to Jordan brand that they dropped these. The, number, the third shoe that I got in my top 10 Jordan release of 2021, you know, Everybody should know what this shoe is. I love this shoe. It's a Jordan 11, so I'm sure you know what this shoe is. My third shoe of 2021 is a Jordan 11 that, you know, everybody loved. I love this shoe. When I heard that they was dropping this shoe, I was so happy and I was like, bruh, I gotta have them. You know, your boy doubled up, but I actually got three pairs of these. So, you know, you know, I, wear, I can wear one with ease. I ain't gotta worry about, you know, not, Messing them up with the wolves. I got I got a couple pairs of these in my size. So yeah, for the third shoe of 2021, we got the Retro 11. Cool, great man. You know this self-explanatory. I don't even got much to say about these. This is just a dope shoe. I'm glad we got these with that high patent leather. Yeah. So you know third shoe, we got the cool grays for the win. Bang. We in that we into that top two now. Top two. Boom. Second shoe that now second shoe of the 2021 in my collection that I feel like <sighs> this shoe burnt a lot of friendships in the sneaker industry. This shoe is real hyped up by hype beast, you know. But personally, it's my second favorite of this. 2021 year and i really love this shoe they call these the back door of course it's a retro one and boom we got the retro one trophy room bruh yeah so you know most people got the um the blue shoe strings or whatever 
and I don't know. I don't really like them with the blue shoe strings. I got the blue strings, blue shoe strings right here. Let me show y'all that I'm verified. I got the blue shoe strings right here for them, but I kind of like them. I like the OG ones with the white shoe strings. I wish they come out with the original ones like these, but yeah, this is just a dope shoe, dope touch, you know, that iced out. I got mine with white, what's it called? And I got pair, hold on, let me check the pair. I got pair 5,663 out of 12,000 pairs that were made to this. So yeah, my second shoe was the Retro Wayne Trophy Room. So what? I don't wanna be dramatic. Boom, drum roll, boom, yeah. But yeah. My favorite shoe of 2021. Oh, oh, oh. Three, two, five, down. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, boom, we got, we down to number one of 2021. This shoe right here speaks measure. A lot of people ain't gonna agree with me because this man that's behind this cloud got so much controversy, but <sighs> I, I'm i not gonna change for anything. So yeah, this shoe right here is just, when I seen this shoe was dropping, I was like, man, I gotta do anything to get my hands on these. So yeah, your boy hit, your boy, your boy got these and I'm happy to have these in my collection. So my number one shoe is the Retro 6 British Cacti Travis Scott collab with Jordan, man. You see this shoe in person, you be like, wow. You know, it come with a bag, got the Cactus Jack in the back right there, got the smiley face right there. They glow in the dark. No, I wish I could do show that they glow in the dark in here. You know, they come with multiple laces. They got pockets on the side, man, this just, this, this shoe just has so much creativity and I love this shoe for what it is for real. And you know, that leather that's on it, man. This this shoe is just a self explanatory shoe. And I'm glad to have this in my collection. Like, look at the bottom of it. My shoe look dirty. Yeah, my shoe look dirty, but yo, look at the bottom of it. And I'm gonna wear this shoe because I love this shoe to death. So yeah. That's my top 10. Yeah, that's my top 10 sneaker releases of 2021. Nice, short, and to the point. Let me know what y'all top 10. Let me know what y'all feel like is in my top 10 that you, you know, you would have put in front of other ones. Let's have a discussion, man. Come on, spam them all. Um, spam that comment section, bro. I want to know what y'all top 10. I want, I want to know if y'all agree with my top 10. So yeah, boom, that's my top 10. Thank y'all for watching. Like this video, comment down below. Don't forget, don't forget I'm doing a giveaway of these Powder Blue 13s, size eight. Subscribe to this channel. Show me that you subscribe. Comment Sneak Geeks. And hashtag done when y'all finish doing that. So yeah, bang, let's get it.